Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. If you're a first time viewer, please go down and click subscribe. If you're a return viewer or subscriber, thank you very much. I do appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be with you as soon as possible. What we're going to talk about tonight is, yes, this video was supposed to be about, and I don't want to lift this up too far, this QNAP. Uh... NAS with 2.5 gig Ethernet interfaces. However, I ran into some problems. They're now being fixed because the throughput was not good. So I thought what we'd talk about tonight is Wi-Fi. And the one thing that I want to ask you is, what does Wi-Fi stand for? I'm going to give you a second to answer that, maybe down in the comments or to yourself. And then we're going to talk about Google being wrong. All right, have you thought about what Wi-Fi stands for? If you Googled it, what does Wi-Fi stand for? The first answer you get was wireless fidelity. And guess what? Google is wrong. This answer is wrong. Scientific American is wrong. So when we're dealing with Wi-Fi in the United States, there's three bodies that we really deal with. There's the FCC who creates the rules. There's the IEEE who creates standards, and then there's the Wi-Fi Alliance who does interoperability testing and certification. And they're the ones who, um, let's actually hop over to their uh, site here. Um, they, anytime you see this Wi-Fi certified logo, they have tested the gear for interoperability. And it's, uh, it tells you right here, Wi-Fi certified products have undergone rigorous testing by one of our independent authorized test laboratories. When a product successfully passes testing, the manufacturer vendor is granted the right to use the Wi-Fi certified logo. And there's a bunch of different logos, and um, I don't know if I've got it on the back of any of these APs, but uh, they simplified the logo. It looks like this now. But someone said that, that this group is the, is the group that said that Wi-Fi stands for wire, wireless fidelity or whatever. And Wi-Fi is actually just a marketing term. It doesn't mean anything. You can call the Wi-Fi Alliance. I don't recommend that. But you could email them. I wouldn't call them. And ask them what Wi-Fi stands for. And they will tell you. It does not stand for anything. It is a marketing term. So... And, once something like this, it's it's like um, something like this comes up and somebody says it, whether it's tongue in cheek or whatever, and it's catchy and it sticks and then it never goes away. You can see right here that when you type what does Wi-Fi stand for into Google, it automatically comes up with wireless fidelity, which is the wrong answer. It actually stands for nothing. And for those of you who have your your CWNA or studying for your CWNA, you know that that's actually impressed upon you in the study material as well. So I, I just thought that we would take a little time here to talk about Wi-Fi. Just something cool that uh, this is why you should always do research, look for standards-based organizations and things like that. Go check out the Wi-Fi Alliance. I'm going to leave a link down in the description. I'll leave a link to the IEEE and the FCC as well, but a lot of those papers. The, now, the IEEE does have some fun papers, the white papers, the RFCs uh, that you can read. But over here at the Wi-Fi Alliance, real quick, check this out. This is where they talk about uh, the naming standards. So Wi-Fi 6 identifies devices that support 802.11ax. Wi-Fi 5 is 802.11ac. Wi-Fi 4 is 802.11n. And then if you've ever seen any of the uh, uh, screenshots I took of my wife's phone because she has Wi-Fi 6, when she's connected to a Wi-Fi 6 AP and we're doing testing, she gets this little icon right here. Um, but you can see over here all of these different topics that they have, the Wi-Fi... Uh, Alliance Group is the expert group when it comes to certification interoperability. 
So if you've ever got questions about that, you can come here, you can check it out. Here's papers under Discover Wi-Fi. Here's specifications. So there's a new paper, not new new, but Wi-Fi 6E Wi-Fi in the six gigahertz band. It looks like this may have been, I don't know if this was published in 2021. It looks like it could have been. Also, there's the Wi-Fi certified WPA3 technology overview. Now, if you want to see what's coming in Wi-Fi this year, what the big push is going to be, it is probably going to be this Wi-Fi 6E. Now, here's the question for the manufacturers that have already put out their Wi-Fi 6 APs. Is the hardware with a little software tuning capable of working in that 6 gigahertz band? I don't know. Is the, is the hardware there and ready to be turned on? I don't know. Um, it'll be very interesting because you, we saw a lot of manufacturers push towards that Wi-Fi 6. If they could just roll a software update and flip a switch and turn on that 6 gigahertz, you know, who knows? I, I don't know if the hardware exists or not, if we're going to see whole new lines of hardware. Just another question for us to ponder, right? So, and that's really the big difference that you're seeing between Wi-Fi 6E and Wi-Fi 6 is that Wi-Fi 6E gives us that public 6 gigahertz band to work in. That's kind of exciting. So I'll leave a, a link and you can read the papers. You can look at how people get certified, look at news and events, all that good stuff. But I thought, you know, what a fun little topic while we're waiting for our other stuff to be ready. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Please comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you need that IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you'd like to use our affiliate links to support the channel, they are all down below. They don't change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks over the channel. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.